Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, I had an urge to do some amber. Um, so I thought I might as well film it. Um, because if I start to show people pictures, I'm just going to get asked. Why have I not done a tutorial? So I may as well uh, just go with the floor. Uh, so you're going to need some Cernic Translucent. Alcohol ink. Uh, of course, of your colour. Um, I'm doing this honeycomb one uh, because it's the one I use when I'm making amber with um, resin. And you're going to need some foil and some alcohol to water down your ink um, and just some sort of paintbrush. I'm just going to use one of these little fluffy uh, paintbrushes that I've got. That's all you're going to need, guys. Um, so I'm going to go and um, condition some translucent. And we're just going to tint probably three lots of it in varying tints. Uh, and then uh, make a block and do a bit of a Makume Gane style thing with it. Um, so I shall be back in a sec. See you in a min. Okay guys, I've got a few pieces here. They've all gone through on a three on my pasta machine. And I'm just going to get my little square cutter. And I'm going to cut... Um, six squares to colour up um, I'll just cut up as many as I can out of this I may have to just condition a little bit more maybe there I've got six so I'm going to colour six up but I also need um four to trap some foil in um so what do i really need to hmm i'll cut some spare in case i change my mind um let's just see what i can get out of these pieces there I'll just pop this piece up there and I'll pop this bit on this bottom okay let's get these scraps up where's my blade Right, I'm going to just put three to one side for a second while I concentrate on the pieces I'm going to be colouring up. And what I'm going to do is just progressively uh, make each bit darker. If that makes sense. Well, it will make sense in a second when you see what I'm doing. Two there. up there right yeah i'm just checking that you can see what i'm doing so i'm gonna have those two those two and those two and i'm just going to do a teeny bit and then a bit stronger and a bit stronger of a color and then i can mix and match a little bit oh i seem to have an alarm going off Right, um, I need, you won't be able to see on here what I'm doing, will you? Right, just let me, I'll just go and grab um, a little dish that I can uh, mix alcohol ink in. I won't be a set, guys. Okay, I got a tile. Right, what I'm going to do is, um, 
I'm just going to put a little bit of alcohol down on my tile and then just add two drops of alcohol get that mixed in so that it's watered the colour down and paint that on two of these like so then I'm just going to add more alcohol so that it thins the colour down Well, that doesn't seem to have thinned it much, does it? <laughs> oh, it has, it has. Let me just um, mop some of that excess off there so it's lighter. There. Yeah, you can see, can't you? And then I'm going to add some more alcohol so that it's absolutely watered down on this last one. Just a hint of a tint. There we go. Now, of course, these need to air off a little bit, guys. Just let that alcohol evaporate off. I'm not going to wipe this up because I'm going to put a bit on my foil as well. So I'll just put this to one side. It I can reactivate it with a bit of um, alcohol. So let's just give this a minute to air off. I'm just going to pick them up and pop them out the way then I can wipe this worktop and of course it being CERN it it does go very sticky when you put alcohol on but it does evaporate off pretty quick guys so you don't really have to worry about it. All right, let's just have a little clean up while they're airing off. Okay. Clean my blade. Magic. Right, I think they should be good to go now, guys. Right, so as usual, um, you know I like to put a bit of scrap on the bottom uh, just to act as a buffer layer. Um, so I'm just going to use some of this translucent that I had left over and just make a, a square up out of it. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. In fact, let's do two pieces. If I can get it to separate, that is. It's rather warm in here today because I've had the oven on already. I've already filmed one tutorial. This is the second one I'm doing. As I say, uh, I wouldn't be forgiven if uh, I didn't share, so I thought I might as well film it as I was going along right I'll just pop these there oh like I said I do this just as a buffer layer um, because that last slice is always really interesting but there's nothing of substance behind it if that makes sense I just cut this out so it's neat. There we go. Right. So I'm going to do uh, dark to light, I think. I'm still unsure whether to trap some, f I will I think, I think I'll trap some foil in between some of these pieces, do my best to make sure there's no air in 
and I don't get any uh, too much placking, hopefully. I won't get too much placking uh, foil. Here we go again, getting in a pickle with the foil. Yeah, I think I'll put a couple of piece, extra pieces of foil in and leave that silver. But um, the one that I trap between the translucent, I'm going to colour up with a bit of amber. Get off. Pesky file. I'll just fold these edges up. There we go. Uh, and then a light, my last light one. And of course, I'm only doing a tiny block again, guys. You know, you can make this as big as you want, can't you? I just don't like making too much. Right, and now I'm going to get a piece of translucent. And again, I'm just being careful because of the bubbles and a bit of foil. Oh, I've got my window open and it's blowing the foil everywhere. Get off. I'll just fold these edges up. There we go. And I'll just reactivate my alcohol ink with a bit of alcohol. Can you see? Oh, yeah, you can see. I just reactivate it a little bit and I'm just going to paint a little bit on the foil. Try and give it kind of a marble mockled look so it's not all the same colour everywhere there we go and I shall trap that in translucent again trying to make sure I've not got any bubbles stuck and then do another layer Dark to light. Trap. Oh, my foil's blowed away. Oh. Trap a bit of foil in this one and leave it silver. I don't think I've got any air in. Then my last bit of yellow. And then a layer of translucent. Oh, get off this pesky foil. I'm always battling with it, aren't I? There we go, waking this alcohol ink up. Just put a little dot of it. Okay. 
just to give it a little bit of a tone just trying to get a couple of darker spots of it i think the brush is a bit dry there that'll do and a last bit of translucent on the top Again, pressing just to make sure I've not got any air trapped. Let's get that out of the way for now. And I'm just going to roll from the centre out. Just to get any air out and I'll flip it and do the same. go that bit of foils bubbling up just need to let it settle right now then now what I forgot to do was I was going to make a little sausage and roll it up um, to pop into my holes um i'll just go and um condition another bit of uh, translucent guy because guys because this will have loads of bubbles in it uh, and i want it to be as un doodah as possible i'll just go and uh, make myself another slither then i can put some plugs in where i make my divots i won't be a sec okay guys i've put some through the pasta machine uh i've put this on a five so it's really thin uh where's my blade and i'm just um gonna cut myself a little strip off that i'm just gonna roll up and make a little sausage with uh i was gonna put some foil on it I think I will just tint it with a little bit of um, alcohol again. I'm just going to wet what I've got left on my um, tile. And just pick some of that ink up and brush it on here. Just to give it a bit of interest. let that air off a second I just trim that end off flat make it easy to roll and I'm just going to roll this up guys into a little sausage and this is just um, when I pork my uh, tool in I just want to bung the hole with the with this rather than um, squishing it all back together again it makes a bit more sense to do it that way right now then where's my ball tools I'll just use this one and I'm just going to do two divots all the way through like so and then I just need to roll my sausage a bit thinner and I'm just going to pop a bit thinner I'm just going to pop my sausage into that little divot oops like that totally squashed my sausage then and then I'll just pop this one in too use my sharper blade oh cutting into this instead of into that I'll just give that a roll make sure everything's together
and just using my smaller end I think I'll just put a couple more in just two smaller ones I'll just get me little sausage as small as I can to get in that hole I seem to have, have a bit of a wobble on my desk again I don't know what I've done let's just chop that off you're gonna fit in there yes you are let's cut you off get a little bit in that one let's squish it down Cut it off. There we go. This should be quite interesting now. Hopefully. Right. So to have a bubble there that doesn't want to roll away. So let's pop it. There we go. I'm just going to flip it and roll the bottom just where I went through with the ball tool right let's get this back into some oh another bubble into some semblance of order there we go right one i'm just going to give that top a wipe over with some alcohol because it's filthy just to get them little marks off there we go right i'm just going to let this rest a little bit guys um just squaring it up a bit i'm just going to let it rest because of course with the alcohol ink and stuff it does go a bit tacky um, so I'll just clean this mess up and um, get cleaned up and that should have cooled down a bit then for enough for us to uh, take some slices out. See you in a minute. Okay guys, this has rested a little while so let's give it a chop. I'm just going to take quite a thin slither off the front I think. Um, just to break the surface there we go okay I'm going to cut it this way oh I didn't want to cut that then oh this is going to look quite funky I think guys Mm. Let me cut another one as well. Uh, I'll just roll it out a bit because even though that's a new blade, it seems to be catching on the clay quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is, what I never do, is I'm just going to pop that that way. Make sure my blade's clean. And I'm going to see if I can slice myself a chunk. Oh, what is going on? It just doesn't want to... It's just absolutely sticking to my, blo uh, to my blade. Let me try a different blade. One of those days. Right, I'll try my trusty blade see what happens there we go okay I've got some interesting pieces now although this one's a bit thick let's just trim this as well there we go got some nice interesting pieces now um, I'm just going to pop those others to one side. I think I'll work with 
maybe this one. Uh, shall I pop it through the pasta machine to stretch it or not? No, I'll do it with my lolly sticks. I shall err on the side of caution. Oh, actually, I was going to do a mould, wasn't I? Yeah, let's strike that. I'm going to pop this. Just let me get those edges rounded. I'm going to pop this into this mould instead. See if we can get it in some semblance of order. Right, I'm just going to trim this off. First. See, now it's cutting perfectly. What's going on today? Must be one of those days. Something's not aligned somewhere. I'm just double rolling this end because there's a bit of a divot or something there. And I want to make sure it's smoothed out. There we go. Just sort them edges out. I just, I always just pull it away from the edge a little bit. Um, just helps a little bit. All right, let's get a scrap of paper. Perhaps I'll use this one that I used before. Get this popped out. Come on, out you pop. I think I distorted it a little bit. There we go. Seem to have a bit of muck on that. Let's just get a clean wet wipe. go must have been a bit of fluff in the mold or something I've got rid of it let's check that shape it's just got a little tiny bit distorted as it came out there so that's that one now then let's have a look at this one I think this was an end piece wasn't it Um, let's see if I can do something with this. So let's get this long. And I can always back it onto some scraps, guys. So I'm not worried, in fact. Let me just squish these together. And roll them out a little bit to make a backing. Oh. So that, oh, fly or something came in. Right, that'll do for a backing. Just in case uh, when I roll this, it isn't that thick, guys. That's all I've done that for. A couple of lolly sticks. Let's pop you down. And I don't think that's going to be long enough. Oh, just, just long enough. Make sure it's got a nice surface on it. Okay. Let's pick this up. 
and I will just give it a gentle stretch just to make sure it's long enough and I shall pop it on this bit of translucent scrap to make a nice backing a bit of paper just burnish it with my finger because I know the surface is reasonably smooth because of my roller just make sure my cut is clean now I know this cutter's um, notorious for leaving marks around the edge of the, uh, you know, the crumbs that I don't like. There we go. Oh, I think this will turn out quite nice. I'm just nipping in with my blade, guys, to get rid of those little crumb bits. If I get them off now, they won't be stuck when I pick it up. Well, most of them won't be, will they? Okay. A couple of little crumbs. I'll just pop this down because it's quite soft. I don't want to distort it. Right, yeah. Right, guys, I shall pop these in the oven. Uh, I might put a little hole in this, actually. Uh, that one I'm not too bothered about, but this one, I don't think it's thick enough to go in sideways. Hmm. No, I won't. It might be thick enough for me to go through sideways. Okay, guys, I'll go and pop these in the oven. I shall see you shortly. Hi guys, all done, all out the oven, look at that, isn't she pretty? So that's the one I made in the mould, some beautiful translucency on it, and then I popped one into my favourite triangle mould, so that's that one, uh, some lovely bits of translucency around on it around the sides and things and then this was a little bit of scrap that I had just left over so I just um no it isn't start again this was a bit of scrap and I haven't bothered polishing it anyway these are the pendants that I made uh, this one's pretty cool as well I don't know if you can make out the the layers within it looks pretty cool so there we go guys, um, I've drilled a hole in this one um, just to, uh, I'll probably do the same with this one to be honest, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one, uh, but I just need to get the end off, this is the uh, chokers that I like, this is just the silver version, uh, I have black ones as well, uh, where's my little pliers? I'll just pop this end off, guys, and then I can uh, just thread one up to show you. There we go. I'm hoping this hole's big enough. Oh, yes. There we go. So that's it on a choker. You'll probably have seen some decent photos of it at the beginning. Um... But I think that one as well, if I just move it round, if I put a hole in the side of that one, that one will look pretty cool on a choker as well. Uh, quite like these colours, they're nice and vibrant. People have been doing quite springy stuff in group. Um, I don't know why I pulled that off there then. Yeah, people have been doing some really springy, spring-like things in group at the minute. And uh, I think that's what made me think about doing these. Just some nice, funky uh, Makume style. A bit like the old green one I did. Um, if 
to go back and have a look at that. Uh, but this, of course, was using um, different layers of uh, yellow or lemon or whatever you want to call it. Right, guys, I shall leave it there and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.